Welcome to Poems You Need, where two poets who believe in the transformative power of language share the poems they need in hopes of helping you find the poems you need, too. Hi, I'm Melissa Stutter. And I'm Kelly Russell Agadon. And today we're sharing poems by Kai Coggin from her collection, Mining for Stardust. And we're going to start with a toast to Kai and her wife, Joanne. So cheers, Kai and Joanne. <laughs> and uh, I was really happy to blurb this book for Kai. She's such a wonderful poet and a great supporter of other poets and women and people. And she's just so like real and and beautiful and generous. So I'm so happy to share poems by her today. And I'm going to start with one called About the Author. And I really was drawn to this poem because we all know that about the author section of a book or a magazine, and it's where we usually hear a list of publications and credentials and awards. So I was absolutely delighted by this unique approach to it, which is a poem. And it's so short, but it goes so much deeper by delving into what it means to be a poet and a human and the specific wonderful human that Kai Coggins is. So um, there's one other thing I want to tell you about the poem, uh, since you can't see it on the page right now, and that's that it has very little punctuation and no capitalization and that creates a sort of environment where lines can be read either in connection to the line before them or the line after them. So it just creates all these layers of meaning that I hope come across in the reading. So about the author. About her. Beacon, persistent. Manifestor of previously uncrossed stars. Puller down of such cosmos voice of the voiceless, undaunted historian of human striving, protest sign in poems held up against system, breaker of systems. The poet is the breaker of system. The poet is the builder of new systems, worlds. Perhaps she is from those other worlds, here, in fact, on sabbatical, from stint as stardust, walking in human feet, or cycle of orbits that has no language here. Life on earth is a practice in darkness. Overcoming, the poet speaks the language of overcoming. She is, too, wife of master naturalists, so de facto master naturalist, leaf inspector, bloom herald, bird singer onto page, holder of light against all things, seemingly heretofore opaque. Wow. You read that beautifully, and it's a beautiful poem. Um, if we could all have a, about the author um, bio that was that beautiful. Maybe that is our challenge as poets that all of our books should have that kind of a bio at the end. Um, and, you know, for everyone listening, that'd be a great prompt, you know, and acknowledge Kai is write your own about the author poem. Um, I, it was, it was rich and deep, and it just shows that a small poem doesn't have to be small in size. Um, and I did love the part about the wife because um, that's what my poem is about. The poem I chose by Kai is called Filling Spice Jars as Your Wife. Um, I chose it for a few reasons. It has this beautiful internal rhyme throughout. It has lines that mirror each other. This is on the Poetry Foundation page. So if you want to go and, and see the form yourself, that's where you find it um, or in Kai's book. Um, and it it deals with something that really I was thinking a lot about this idea that our poems are different um, because of the people around us or the people in our universe. And I love that idea that um, knowing that your poems are going to be different because you're with or you've met someone else. Um, I just think that's such a beautiful sentiment. 
And the other thing I love about it is it's just filled with love. It's such a love poem and a queer love poem. And there's just so much joy in that for me. And it just fills my heart. So that's why I chose to read this poem to you today. And and it's a longer poem. So it shows just how Kai can do smaller and um, larger work just as well. Again, it's called Filling Spice Jars as Your Wife. It seems like all my poems after this will be different. They will hold a different weight, like how the weight of my heart has shifted into indistinguishable float, into lifting cloud, into weightless flight tonight, as the rain gently falls on the summer-heated tin roof, the din of casual raindrops and the warm, low lights glowing, the wind blowing throughout the house. We have all our doors and windows open. We have all our doors and windows open, and I am pouring spices into glass jars, coriander, cinnamon, cumin, ground sage, and it's hard to describe this moment in the confines of a page. Tiny hills of vibrant color and intoxicating cadence, fragrance, and you hear the cadence of my heart from the kitchen, where you build the perfect fitting slip-in shelves for our spices over the stove. Match the colors. Match my colors to yours. I have all my doors and windows open to you. I have all my doors and windows open to you, and you have come all the way inside, sat down at the table of my deepest desires, and lit a fire to warm us both. The wind blowing through the house, the rain gently giving way to turmeric sunrise, and you, darling, you are my wife. You are my wife, and it's like I have been waiting my whole life to say those words. I feel held in a way I have never felt before. To look down at my fingers, dusted with ginger and thyme, and see the gold of my wedding band glint and shine in the warm, low light glow. I am yours, and you are mine, promised on Zoom in a garden of giant zinnia and hummingbird vines, sung out in the morning song of bluebirds, this union that ripples love out to the world and infinities back into us again. Love in the fine powder of these spices, ground up essence of oregano and basil. I see our love in every atom suddenly. And every cell in me exhales. And perhaps that is the wind. Perhaps that is the wind blowing through the house. This release of eternal searching and finding you there. Calling me your forever. Naming me your always. To have and to hold till death do we part and start all over again looking only for each other's hearts, taking my life in your hands eternal, marrying me to the heavens, latching me to the star trail of your white dress. In this orbital dance, this lift and spin, this knowing from within that all my poems after this will be different because you are my wife. Beautiful. (laughs) Beautiful. You know, this poem is so filled with ecstasy and joy and beauty that the first few times I read it, that's all I felt. I was just so overcome by that. And then hearing you read it aloud now, all of a sudden I see all this gorgeous craft that has gone into this poem. And not just the way the lines repeat, but the way they actually transform throughout the poem, you know, from we have all our doors and windows open to I have all my doors and windows open to you. Um, It's just absolutely gorgeous. So thank you for sharing that and reading it. Thank you. 
Thank you for celebrating poetry with us today. Information about the poet and works featured can be found on the episode page. And if you enjoyed today's reading, please press the like button and subscribe so not to miss another poem. You can also share the episode with a friend, and we hope you do. Until next time, we wish you beauty, inspiration, and very meaningful days. May you always have the poems you need.